Item number SCP-5124 Object Class Euclid Special Canadian Procedures Foundation Web Crawler Beta 17 Mousetrap is to monitor the internet for images fitting the profile of SCP-5124. Upon detection, the image is to be removed and blocked from public access. When transferred to a secure network, AIC-5124 is to neutralize the instance. Individuals who manually introduce SCP-5124 to an environment are to be identified, interrogated, and amnesticized. Devices found to possess SCP-5124 are to be seized and destroyed by the Foundation. Description SCP-5124 is an image file named Play-Doh Mouse JPEG that serves as the nexus for a number of anomalous phenomena. Primarily, SCP-5124 demonstrates infophoric behavior when in the presence of digital data, replacing existing textual information with blank spaces. Visual data, such as images or video, will be replaced with a copy of SCP-5124. The process by which SCP-5124 multiplies itself increases exponentially until all data within its defined locus. Designated SCP-5124-1 is replaced or consumed by the anomaly. SCP-5124-1 refers to the digital space which SCP-5124 occupies. SCP-5124 commonly materializes on websites with extremely low traffic through an unknown process. These spaces become self-sufficient in regards to web hosting. As attempts to cut services do not result in the website being taken down, SCP-5124 can be manually introduced to new digital spaces through image sharing, such as uploading the file to a website. But saving or copying SCP-5124 will render the device an instance of SCP-5124-1. SCP-5124 is capable of being removed from an SCP-5124-1 location through anomalous means, as demonstrated by Foundation web crawlers. Addendum 5124-1 Instant Report 5124 Instant Report 5124-1 Date File 2020 October 27th Date of Occurrence 2020 October 27th Location Site 19 Anomaly Involved SCP-5124 Personnel Involved Research Team 5124 Report Filed by J. Doon on 2020, October 25th, the SCP-5124 research team attempted to remove the anomaly from an SCP-5124-1 location using WebCrawler Beta-1 lock. This marked our first direct contact with SCP-5124, as the anomaly has been catalogued only a few days prior. After confirming our initial success, a removal campaign using WebCrawler's Beta-1-3 through Lock, Stock, and Barrel was conducted over the next 24 hours. By 2020, October 26th, all identified SCP-5124-1 locations have been cleared of the anomaly. As of 2020, October 27th, more than 10% of Site-19's internal SkipNet database had been compromised by SCP-5124. An excerpt from an unrelated object file has been included below to demonstrate how SCP-5124 affects a documentation. Move to Site-19. Origin is of yet. It constructed and with traces of Krylon paint. SCP-173. Animate and extremely. The object cannot move while with in a direct line of sight. Line of must not be broken at any time with 173. Assigned enter container instructed to alert 1 before blinking is reported to attack by snapping the base the or by strangulation. 
In the event of an attack, personnel are to observe for hazardous containment. As all Skipnet data is localized and archived, no information has been truly lost. However, any and all data stored on Site-19 local servers is currently susceptible to corruption. Attempts to remove SCP-5124 using a number of methods, including web crawlers, AICs, and other anomalies have failed. It is projected that 100% of Site-19's internal database will be compromised by 2020, November 4th. SCP-5124 Termination Attempt Log 1 Method Description Result Note Web Crawler Beta 1 Lock Content Removal Based Web Crawler Successful Removal of SCP-5124 from an SCP-5124-1 location Update Introduction of SCP-5124 to Site-19's database Part of an initial containment campaign. Webcrawler Beta 2 Stock Content Removal Based Webcrawler Successful Removal of SCP-5124 from an SCP-5124-1 Location Update Location of SCP-5124 to Site-19's database Part of an initial containment campaign. Webcrawler Beta 3 Barrow Content Removal Based Web Crawler Successful Removal of SCP-5124 from an SCP-5124-1 Location Update Introduction of SCP-5124 to Site-19's Database Part of Initial Containment Campaign Three Testing Logs Removed for Brevity Odysseus AIC Artificial Intelligence Specializing in Data Restoration AIC was rendered useless upon introduction to SCP-5124-1 environment. Examination into code found the presence of SCP-5124 instances. Attempted on 2020, October 27th. Four testing logs removed for brevity. R Slider Cluster Dummy network created using archived Skip net data to be used in case of server corruption. Existing Site-19 servers were taken down and replaced with our slider cluster. Immediate reintroduction of SCP-5124 to new database. Spread of an anomaly occurred 40% quicker than before. Attempted on 2020, October 29th. Web call Beta 17, Mousetrap. Experimental Analytics Web Crawler created specifically to assess data regarding SCP-5124. Removal of SCP-5124 from areas the web crawler was introduced to. Unintended effect. See Incident Report 5124-2. Incident Report 5124-2. Data filed 2020, October 30th. Date of occurrence. 2020, October 30th. Location, Site-19. Anomaly involved, SCP-5124. Personnel involved. Research Team, 5124. Report filed by J. Doon. The team's attempts to remedy the SCP-5124 infestation had unanimously been met with failure until now. On 2020, October 30th, newly developed web crawler Beta-17 Mousetrap was introduced to Site-19 servers. The web crawler was created as a statistic tool and was only intended to run as a data fetching background operation to aid our research. What ended up happening was entirely unforeseen. When Beta-17 was introduced to an SCP-5124-1 location, instances in that space would disappear completely. Further examination found that these instances moved from the initial SCP-5124-1 location to the internal code of Beta-17. Unlike previous attempts, these instances were completely removed from their source and did not multiply, corrupt, or spread within Beta-17's internal structure. 
Upon removal of Beta-17 from an SCP-5124-1 area, the instances returned to their original locations. Our hypothesized explanation calls SCP-5124's behavior to attention. SCP-5124 acts like its namesake, a mouse. It breeds, infests, and spreads in forgotten and neglected areas. If left unchecked, there is no limit to the amount of damage SCP-5124 can cause. The initial removal of SCP-5124 from the internet resulted in these anomalies moving from one location to another. Why? These anomalies are infophoric. Our database is the perfect host location for them. Exabytes of information, some sold them access and long forgotten, all organized in an eleventh-time structure. It is a kind of environment perfectly suited to SCP-5124's needs. Why did Beta-17 manage to contain SCP-5124 instances despite not being programmed to do so whatsoever? Because we named it Mousetrap. By unintentionally acknowledging these anomalies as if they were physically mice, we may have just about solved our mouse problem. When mouse traps aren't enough, what do you do? You get a cat. SCP-5124 Termination Attempt Log 2 Method Description Result Notes Memetic Extermination Agent 5124 Play-Doh Cat A memetically enhanced image file of a cat made from modern clay, specifically intended to terminate SCP-5124. Complete neutralization of SCP-5124 in areas the agent was introduced to. Success. Agent integrated to a greater AIC program to patrol and clean Site-19 servers on a constant basis. As of 2020, November 1st, all SCP-5124 instances have been removed from Site-19's database information restoration process ongoing.